Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. It's us again. We're down here at the San Luis Obispo County Animal uh, Shelter, Animal Services. And we are here with a house full of cats and dogs and just waiting to get new homes, forever homes, we hope, uh, so that they have a place to live out the rest of their lives besides this place. We have made way too many cats and dogs down here. Uh, Deborah, we just went through the cats and a lot, a lot of senior cats. I don't understand oh. what's happening. So many senior cats, cats are finding their way to us, but they all need homes. And that's especially important right now because kitten season is going to be with us Aye. pretty soon. And everyone looks at kittens and ignores the older cats. Same thing with puppies and older dogs. So we always like to get our kittens and our puppies out of here as fast as possible so that the attention gets placed back on our older, our older dogs. And seniors are, in a, are a special case. I've adopted senior dogs. It's a wonderful experience. There's nothing more heartbreaking than an older dog stuck down here at the animal shelter. That, however, is not an older dog. This is not an older dog. This is a, quite a young dog and quite a, uh, how should we say, a peppy and adorable dog. Let's see if we get a zoom in on this face. Come on now. This there. little thing came to us from Paso Robles on March 9th. Uh, you know, when we get a stray in here, it, it has to be here for five business days before it can leave with a new owner. That gives the, the original owner time to find their lost pet. However, just as an example, this little guy is already pre-adopted. So if his owners, original owners, don't show up to pick him up in the next couple of days, this one's going home with a new adopter. And so they're very little, excited about that. They are. So this little guy, or this little female is, uh, you know, she's not available for adoption because she's already been pre-adopted. And maybe her original owners are going to come get her in the next day or two. But we get new dogs brought in as strays and, and owner turn-ins every single day of the week. Every day. The little ones go fast, Deborah. So they if do. you're interested in a little lap dog like this one, come on down. You'll find one on a daily basis here. Not and if you can't find one, we'll see what we can do about steering your attention to a little larger one. Because we do things like that. But we don't push. We don't push. Not at all. So this little cutie pie uh, is animal number 210847. She's just about five years old. A little doll, again, uh, came, she came in from Paso Robles on the 9th of March. Terry, I have to tell you, it absolutely is killing me that this dog is still in the shelter. I know, and she's one of our best dogs. She, if she was in a Labrador's body, she would have been adopted in the first hour she was here. Her temperament is fantastic. She is super friendly towards people. She is wonderful with other dogs. Uh, she's just an all-around great pet. She'd be a wonderful family pet. She's, you can take her anywhere. She behaves herself. Meg is fantastic, and that sh we cannot get this dog adopted. I don't understand it. I really don't. She's put on some pounds since she's been down here. She needs a weight loss program. That is true, but she's very active, very playful, very happy. She'll go anywhere you want to go. She is just precious. Sounds like she wants to go somewhere right now. We love her so much. She has a half adoption fee paid, and you could take that money and take her somewhere because she obviously is looking for an adventure. And she wants Deborah, to go out there and play. And she's just all heart. From what I hear from all the volunteers, she's just all heart. We couldn't love her more, and I just can't think of anything else great to say about her. This is a wonderful dog. So trust us, folks out there. We know the dogs. I mean, we've had this dog for uh, quite some time, and we know this dog. She is a great dog. Half off I helps know. you out, and let's get her out of here. Please, please come open your heart up and come take a look. Spend some time with Meg. You'll love her. Her number is? 208-882. Yay, Meg. Yay, Meg. Oh, this is Angus. This is actually Meg's boyfriend. They play for hours. They love each other. They spend a lot of time together down here at the shelter. He is just a nice dog. He's about seven years old. He's well-behaved. You know, sit, shake. He's happy all the time. Seems to be very house-trained. Uh, house he is just a great dog. Another sweetie that we would love to get out of here. Angus's ID number is... Nine five eight one five zero. Look how good looking he is. Oh, this very pretty girl was picked up on the Embarcadero in Morro Bay on the 11th of March. Is somebody missing their very nice, I don't know, Basenji or Queensland mix? Lovely dog, about two years old, well-behaved, very sweet. She's going to get you noticed, Deborah. She is. She would be really good for agility or, or anything like that. Mm. She's, she's got a lot of energy, but she's not crazy about it. Very good on the leash, uh, and I think a very, very smart little dog. Her ID number is 210-872. Isn't she pretty? 
All right, all of you from San Luis Obispo, is anyone missing their black chihuahua mix? He's absolutely adorable, just about a year old, picked up in San Luis, or, or actually was left in our night kennels. Uh, I take that back, but for some reason we think he's from San Luis Obispo. At any rate, he's a doll, very Someone's sweet. Someone's got to be missing him. I look at how well he's sitting on Alan's yes, lap yes. there, just having a great time. What a lovely little guy. Um, again, he came in on the 14th. His ID number is... Two one zero eight eight eight. What a lovely little dog! Come get him. He'll go fast. He'll go very fast. We've got Ellen appearing with Marty today as a cameo appearance. She's <laughs> been working very hard with him because he needs a bit of training. She's got that easy walk harness on him, and that's what Marty needs to walk well. Deborah, what do you think about Marty here? I think Marty is incredible. Um, he is. First, hey, and by the way, that Easy Walk harness is going with him. And notice that is a clip in the front harness. It clips in front of the chest, not on the back. That's a much better way to, to, to walk a, a strong pulling dog. Marty is classic German Shepherd. Uh, Ellen has worked with him a lot. You know, he needs, he's very loving with people, very loving. He does pretty well with most other dogs. Uh, and the thing about him is he needs a strong handler not a mean handler but somebody who'll give him rules and boundaries as with all shepherds or most shepherds he responds well to rules and boundaries and training he's very smart he's very beautiful um, so if you are looking for a dog that is smart intelligent sweet uh, loves to go on walks if you want to see him in action on a walk out on the Bob Jones trail that is available on YouTube you can see Marty in action with other dogs out on a trail walking he did beautifully uh, you know so he's he's not a dog just to take home and throw in the backyard or a dog not to pay any attention to this is someone you need to be involved with this is someone you need to take to training this is somebody you need to work with but he is a beautiful classic German Shepherd and um, I think he's absolutely fabulous so, if you are interested in an absolutely fabulous dog, then come down and meet Marty. His ID number is 209-837. This is Thor, and he is such a great dog that we have made him the volunteer's pick of the month. Yay, Thor! That means half of his adoption fee is paid. Um, it means we think he is just an all-around great dog. I, you know... He's, he's a good ball dog. We had to foster our, one of the volunteers, take him out for a day. He went to the beach. He did fabulously well on the beach, around other dogs, around all people. He is just an all-around good dog. He knows sit. He knows shake. Uh, he's just, he is just a sweet, friendly, happy dog. And look at him, Deborah. I mean, he's right there sitting next to MJ. Like, I, she could drop the leash and he'd stay right there. Not a problem. I know. And you know, you prob I, I'm sure that you can't hear it on the show, but we actually have a shooting range not far from this shelter. And he, they're shooting today. And Thor is absolutely yes. rock solid. It's rock not solid. scaring him. In fact, if you see any of the dogs acting nervous today, it's probably because some of them do get scared by the, the, the shots being fired. Thor is steady as a rock. Very stable. And, you know, we had somebody come into the shel shelter, Terry, who knew he and Emma, the dog he came in with, in their home. And he said they were absolutely great dogs. These were custody impounds. So for some reason, the owner lost custody of these dogs. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, they said they were great dogs, just really nice dogs. Everybody liked them. Well, so he's been overlooked is how I he think is. of it. And we're hoping this volunteer's pick gives him a boost that he needs to get out of here because he's a great, great dog. And just the cherry on top of Thor is all those freckles. He has the most wonderful freckles. So, yay, Thor, ID number 197856, volunteer's pick, and just a wonderful dog. Greer's a little jealous because Emma was watching Thor leave, and he wants to know that he's the girl, he's, he's Emma's boyfriend, not Thor, but I think he's out of luck, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Emma it came in with Thor, both really nice dogs. She's about five years old. Half of her adoption fee is paid, so that will save you some money. Just an all-around very, very nice dog. Seems very house-trained. She knows sit. Uh, she likes to go jogging. She's done well around other dogs, so just a nice girl and pretty, too. Again, another solid dog here. This is, this is a dog that does all the good dog things you want a dog to do. We have a lot of dogs down here like that, Terry, and the reason that some of them are sitting for a long time is because of their breed. Yes. They are pit bulls or pit bull mixes, and people have ideas and misconceptions, and um, they're not for every household in every situation, although some of them are. Uh, absolute, you know, I'm a pit bull owner. You've heard me talking about them. I don't know how many years we've been doing this. 
I own them, I love them, they are fabulous dogs, and they too often get overlooked because of the way they look and people's perceptions of them, and not they don't get considered for their personalities, their temperaments, and their sweetness. Well, let's hope that somebody gives Emma a chance who's out there looking at her right now. That's what we're hoping for. ID number 169488, this is Emma. This is Ruby. She's a spayed female, about three years old. Um, she likes to play Frisbee. She knows has basic obedience training. Uh, very, interesting, uh, very interesting dog. She will be very loyal to her owner. Um, she could use a little bit of training, but a really nice dog. Ruby's ID number is 206420. I think this dog is just beautiful. Um, this is Edwin. Uh, he's about three years old. He's a little bit fearful down here at the shelter, but he loves people. He's very huggy and kissy once he's comfortable with you. Uh, he's one of Meg's boyfriends, so he plays very, very well with Meg. He's just a beautiful dog that I don't think has been treated very well before he got here, but he never shows any kind of aggression or anything like that. He just kind of backs away if he doesn't know you well and he's afraid of you. But once, boy, once he likes you and trusts you, he's very loving. You can see there, he's really starting to like and trust Sandy, and I don't even know if they've met before. Edwin's ID number is 210604. Now, Deborah, here's another one who's been overlooked. Gizmo has been with us for quite some he time. Has. He's great. He's, everybody down here is crazy about Gizmo. He's about seven years old. Half of his adoption fee is paid, so that saves you more than $50 on the adoption fee. Gizmo is very smart. He knows sit, shake, stay, come. He's a very good ball dog. He's another one of Meg's boyfriends. Meg is a very popular girl down here at the shelter. Um, we just love this guy, you know. He's just a wonderful, he would make somebody such a sweet, sweet companion. I would love to have this dog. I got a full house, but I would love to have this guy. Again, half adoption fee paid. His coat is beautiful. His face is so sweet. He has such a wonderful manner about him. We love him so much down here. Gizmo's ID number is 210063. Well, I tell you, Deborah, this dog is going to get you noticed. You see his pink neck? Oh, <laughs> I think yes. the collars are not color fast <laughs> down here, and the rain is giving him a lovely pink stripe. This dog is really great. He's only about just over a year old. His name is Charlie. Um, great running, hiking partner. He knows sit and shake. He seems to be house trained. He's very good on the leash. Uh, he's just a really smart, intelligent, fun dog. Very sweet, too. Uh, apparently not so hot with sheep. I'm not sure what, what's, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but for some reason it says no sheep. So no sheep. This needs to be a dog household, I guess. Um, Charlie's gorgeous. His ID number is 208086. This is another really pretty dog, just about a year and a half old. Um, this is Segment. Uh, neutered male. He likes to play with Charlie and Ted, so he's got other fun friends down here. Uh, he likes to fetch the frisbee. He's very well. He's very nice on the leash. Just an all-around nice dog. Uh, Segment's ID number is two one zero five four seven. But he kind of has, if you look this way, sort of a perpetually sad look on his face. Bless his heart. Um, his owners could no longer keep him. He he would be a wonderful companion, a wonderful protection dog. He does not, he's not, doesn't really like other dogs. He doesn't, he has no interest in going after another dog. He just doesn't want them in his space. So he probably needs to be the only dog in the home. But he would be, he would make you feel very safe. He's going to be very loyal to his person or his people. And we really love him down here. And so he is the other volunteer's pick of March. So he has half of his adoption f uh, fee paid as well. So that's wonderful. Marty, or Buddy's ID number is 209430. Well, this is a cute little guy. He came in on the 12th of March from the South County in uh, Napomo. So somebody should be missing this little dude. He's awfully cute. He looks awfully young. Those are some shiny, bright teeth he's got in his mouth there. So maybe a year and a half, something like that. Um, are he's you missing fun. your he's very playful, cute, this guy? fun yes. tail? <laughs> yeah, I think he's pretty young. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, he's acting very young. Oh, my gosh, he is adorable. Could use a haircut or a little bit of a groom there, but really nice guy. Uh, his ID <laughs> number, 210882. This guy's going to get adopted fast, so owners either come find him or new adopters come put your, put, put your uh, adoption and put your money <laughs> down and get this dog. He will not be here long. Gosh, he's cute. 210882. Well, this is one of those that kind of breaks your heart a little bit. His owners could no longer keep him. He's about 10 years old. This is Bo or Bow. I'm not sure how they pronounce it, but we'll, we'll go with Bo. We'll go with Bo. Um, He's uh, a lab mix or a Chesapeake Bay Retriever mix. 
may need to be the only dog in the home, but uh, we've had a few dogs down here that he seems to do fine with, so I'm not sure about that. We'd have to test. But he's beautiful, nice guy, senior, needs some place to spend the next few years of his life. That Both qualifies him for the senior Oh, rebate. that's right. Yep, $35 back. There you go. Top 10. There you go. So that's a good deal, too. Bo's ID number is 956-689. This is Macy, and this is one of the reasons the volunteers are down here. She was practically catatonic when she came in. She was so afraid of everything. Um, she is doing so much better. She's so much more comfortable around people than she was. She's particularly fond of women. Men scare her a little bit, but she's getting better about that, too. Um... You know, it takes work with some of these, these, these dogs, and it takes the volunteers to come down here and help them be comfortable in a world that's really foreign to them. Macy has half of her adoption fee paid, so that saves you more than $50 on the adoption, and her ID number is 209-810. All right, this is another work in progress. This is Riley. She was found on March 4th in Atascadero on Traffic Way. She came in here, was utterly terrified, just beyond frightened, and she's still scared, but she's doing a lot better. Uh, first, we couldn't even get her out of her kennel. And now she likes to go out on walks, and she's got her friends that she likes to come in and have them pet her. And so slowly but surely, she is coming around and learning that everything's going to be okay. And she's beautiful. We think she's about three years old. Her name is Riley, and her ID number is 955-980. So now we're getting to our cats, and we're starting out with Tino. Tino just woke up, as you can see. Ah, something for me to do. He's coming out to meet and greet. Tino is a great guy, as you can see. He is that lovely gray color, which makes him into a Russian blue. Lots of people are very attracted to Russian blue, if you're one of them. Meet Tino. Tino's ID number is 210545, and hey, wait one minute, Tino has had half of his adoption fee paid already. That is great for you because if you come down here and want to adopt him, half his adoption pay fee is already paid on this great, great cat, Tino. ID number 210545, Tino. Let me introduce you to Curti, and she is just a doll. Honestly, she gets on your lap, and she loves to cuddle. She does everything a cat is supposed to do and more. She is a senior, so she needs a place to retire. But for a cat, they fit in easily in any situation and can retire nicely in a place where there is at least some sunshine. You know how cats love to kind of linger and languish in the sunshine. Her ID number is 210741, and she also has half her adoption paid. Isn't that great? Coming down here, meeting Curdy loving her, adopting her, half fee only. ID number 210741 for beautiful Curti. Check out this honey bun. He is that really, really nice black tabby on white, which really kind of makes his markings outstanding. He is a really nice cat also. ID number 210712. Fluffy likes to be held. He loves to be petted. Likes to be your best friend. What's wrong with that? ID number 210712 for the fabulous Fluffy. Here's a very calm and contented boy. This is Teddy. He can lose a few pounds. He is quite a large cat. ID number 210201. Teddy also has half his adoption fee paid. That's right. Fall in love with him. Half the fee is already paid for you. ID number 210201, Teddy. You're looking at Wolfie. He is the showman of the shelter. He wants to play, play, play. That's what he wants to do. Volunteers give him very high marks in that area. He is a very busy cat. He's young. He's just a kitten, only 11 months old. He's not even a year. And half of his adoption fee has been paid. That's right. ID number 209012. He's a curious, loving, wonderful cat. His name is Wolfie. 209012. Next up, we've got Phil. Phil is a tabby, as you can see. He is a little older. He's a senior, needing a place to retire. But cats, you know, they're kind of easy on that in the senior area. They really just want a place in the sun to feel good. That's what Phil's after. He's got a lot of energy, though. Don't think he doesn't. His ID number is 210783. Phil. Say hi to this little sweetheart. This is Happy. She's just two years old. 
She is ID number 210784. She's kind of scared here at the shelter. Well, most of our cats are. Not a nice place to be for a cat. They have to be in these small cages 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Any old way, happy you'd like a way out. Maybe that's with you. Consider her ID number 210784. Look at this little darling. She is a tortoise shell. I just love tortoise shells. They're so uniquely marked. Each one of them is individual as the splash of color is on them. This is little Pusifer. Her ID number is 209865. She's just about a year old, very, very young, and an ideal cat. 209865. Say hi to Emmy. She wants to say hi to you. She is a lovely, lovely cat. She is a Torby, that's a tortoiseshell and a tabby on white. She's got a great temperament, and her ID number is 210850. That's Emmy. Here's a scared boy. This is Ballard. He came into the shelter very scared and timid, and the volunteers are trying to work with him to kind of ease his pain, if you will, of being in the shelter. And that's ha where you can come in. If you're thinking about volunteering your time anywhere, please come to the shelter. We could use you. These cats could use you. Our dogs could use you. Take a cat out of the cage, put him or her on your lap, pet, groom. It makes such a difference in the day of the cat. Makes them more adoptable. Really, they come around a lot faster. We don't have enough volunteer for the cats. So if you are interested, Call the volunteer line, 781-4413, and get info about volunteering here. Right now, consider getting Ballard out of here. He is ID number 210776, and half of his adoption fee has been paid already for you. So that could motivate you toward adopting him. He's an older guy, but not all that old. ID number 210776, Ballard. Hello, Silas. We just woke this guy up to say hi to you. He is a really nice orange tabby on white. Handsome, handsome boy. He's just about six years old, and his ID number is 210779. These orange tabbies have such great temperament, and that's why you see them on all the commercials on TV and in the movies. The orange tabby always gets the part. You can have Silas for your very own, and he can play a part in your life. ID number 210779, Silas. Say hi to Nero. Nero is just about a year old. He is ID number 210851, Nero. What an extraordinary looking cat. This is Snickers. Look at those topaz eyes, wow. She reminds me of the Cheshire cat a little bit. She is very wise, she's a senior, and half of her adoption fee has been paid. Isn't that great? Her ID number is 210867. She is a long-haired tortoiseshell. Absolutely gorgeous. You have to come down here and meet her. Wait a minute. I see some white on her. She is a long-haired calico. ID number 210867. You've just got to see her in person. She is gorgeous. Hi, Inky. Yeah, this cat's name is Inky. He is ID number 210879. He is an older cat, but a lot of life in him. He is really, really uh, a cuddler. Loves attention, loves to be petted. ID number 210879. And hey, his adoption fee has been paid. Half of it has been paid for you. Inky 210879. Here's a really, really friendly cat. This is Tootsie. He's just about two years old. He's big, he's handsome. His ID number is 2103, I mean 210830. That's Tootsie. Here's a beautiful dilute calico. This is Callie. ID number 210816. She's as sweet as she can possibly be. ID number 210816. And half her adoption fee has been paid. We have someone who really, really likes our older cats and really wants to benefit the seniors. So half of all of their adoption fees have been paid this week. So please come down here and adopt one of our seniors. Half adoption fee paid. Consider Kelly, ID number 210816. Say hi to Maybelline. She's been waiting to say hi to you. She is a tabby as you can see and guess what? Half of her adoption fee has been paid. These cats have such a good benefactor. I love it when this happens. Maybelline 
is ID number 210781. Consider her. Howdy, Tartan. Tartan's just about two years old. He is a gray tabby, as you can see. His ID number 209134. He's been a little stressed at the shelter here. So once again, if you have any time on your hands and you want to volunteer with us, please do. You, all you have to do is to sign up, come to the orientation, and then you're on your way. ID number 209134 for Tartan. Here is Handsome Patches. Patches is ID number 210785. Patches is very young, just about a year old. He is very active, very friendly. I think you're going to love him if you meet him. Consider Patches, ID number 210785. Next up, we've got Penny. I think she's a really interestingly marked tabby. She's got a lot of solid color, and yet she's got these stripes, a dark gray. Beautiful. She's just about a year old, very active, nice and friendly. ID number 210875, Penny. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Yep, this is Wendy. As you can see, she's a black and white. She's our first black and white of the day, in fact. Sometimes we have a lot of them, sometimes we don't. She's just about two years old. She is very playful, very curious. ID number 210876, Wendy. Well, you just saw Wendy as a black and white, and now we have Cliff. He's a long-haired black and white. He's just about five years old, a very nice boy. ID number 210877, Cliff. So I told you we didn't have many black and whites, and now we've got our third one in a row. This is Sophie. She is kind of a um, brown on black on white. She's just about a year old. She is long-haired, as you can see. Everyone who has met her says she's just great. ID number 210889. That is Sophie. So, yeah, these are not cats. We've got bunnies down here also. We've got about 10 of them, uh, different shapes, sizes, and sexes, all different colors, ear types, what have you. So you really have to come down and see our bunnies if you're interested in them. They are just $5 to adopt a bunny. That's right, $5. How can you go wrong? And they're oh so cute. Look at this one, giving you the high sign with his nose. Cutie pie. This one you're looking at is Pepper. His number is 210462. So if you want to come down and see him or any of the other bunnies that he hangs out with, come down to this shelter. Best pet store in the county. You never know what you're going to find, but I guarantee... Anybody you take out of here could be your next best friend. 